plank variation is paired up with those explosive drills because it's meant to teach us the top of that swing. So when I go from point A to point B, this right here is a standing plank. Everything is locked down. My core is tight, my glutes are tight, my quads are tight. And that's exactly what we want to stimulate, simulate here in this plank. So I'm going to get on my forearms and I'm going to hold the plank position. Uh, but rather than passively hold it, I'm going to focus on activating every single muscle group from my shoulders down to my legs. And in doing so, kind of mimic the top of that swing. So because I'm planking everything, I'm squeezing everything so hard, you're not going to have to hold it as long. In fact, you're just going to time it through breath cycles. So I'm going to get up, and here I am in my plank, right? Now from here, I'm going to push my heels back. Now zip my kneecaps up, so I kind of pull my kneecaps towards my groin, so I get my quads going. I'm going to squeeze my butt, tighten my abs, and then act like I'm sliding my elbows down towards my hips. Now when I do that, everything should be tight, and I'm shaking pretty hard. All I'm going to do now is do five breaths. So breathe in, force the air out, and squeeze everything tighter. I'm going to do five breaths like that, each time cranking down harder and harder on my abs, and my legs, and my hips, until I'm in a nice full locked out plank. So it's a very brief plank, like maybe 15, 20 seconds in total unless you get everything squeezed. Uh, but the idea is that it's really high tension and that it plays really well into our explosive movement.